Creatives never stop. We just get older and it gets harder to stay awake. This is Sawyer Hartman in Making a Portrait. As a kid, I was constantly getting into trouble. Whether it be trying to take the doors off my mom's car, or uh, reverse engineer booby traps in the kitchen so that when my mom or dad came home and opened a drawer, they'd get like hit with a fork or a spoon. Or... I like getting into trouble because that leads to new, fun, creative ideas. I think people need to have more fun. When I was 10, I got my own first camera. And this was the first time that I ever had something that I could put my energy into, rather than just being ADD all over the room. There was an elk out in the middle of a field, huge antlers, everyone around just taking pictures from the cars. And for two hours, I slowly tried to get closer to this elk, closer and closer until I was only about four feet away. And the elk lifted its head and looked at me and filled my entire frame and I clicked the picture. And I got it, exposure locked, Focus locked, 10 years old, actually captured the emotion of the, captured the moment. And I've been hooked ever since. In, in kindergarten, yeah. I was very young. I decided that for the whole week, I was gonna pretend I was sick. But instead of pretending to be sick, I had actually like went to the library and looked up sicknesses, found all the symptoms, I had my game plan, essentially had a script. And every single day for an entire week, I got sent home before noon. And my mom was really upset. And when she asked me, I told her, I'm active. This is, it's not real. I just wanted to see if I could get the nurse to believe me. She's supposed to be pretty good at this. And five days in a row now, she sent me home. So I didn't get punished because my mom was just like, you're right, she probably should have caught on you were faking. Um, all that taught me <laughs> was you can get away with stuff like that in life. I think creative people who are not constantly getting into stuff, they are always asking themselves, how do I keep up in this creative world? And the creative people who just create because they have to or they'll explode, look around and go, why is everyone stopped? Kids never stop. Creatives never stop. We just get older and it gets harder to stay awake. I was constantly just building. And now my creativity is all the same and it started in childhood, I just build, whether it be a company or a film script or an individual photograph, all from childhood. There were a few years that I lost my creativity because I was so involved in life. I'd say from 14 to 18, I moved to a small island in Florida where I literally just went to the beach every day. But what was interesting is my creativity started coming through in other ways because I started picking up a camcorder to film skateboarding. I think the thing to take away from me is I never learned to be creative. I never even learned the art form of photography or videography from anyone. I think I just started at such a young age that I never lost the ability to play and experiment. To me, it was just, oh, that could be cool. And we tried it and it worked. And then people were like, how the hell did you do that? I didn't. I was, I was just open to finding it. And I think some people who learn later on in life, they're just too technical. They can't allow themselves to be a kid again. That's why I was very excited to go back and talk about my childhood, is I'm still a child. I'm still in childhood. And yes, I'm an adult. I have responsibilities. But not when it comes to creativity. My dad was a pilot, and my parents got divorced when I was like seven. I remember the day my mom told me. I'll never forget, I was sitting on the couch. She came downstairs, and she said, I need to tell you something. She's like, your dad's not gonna be living here anymore. And I don't know if the divorce affected me as much as I just saw both of my parents being happier afterwards. But it's weird because my mom was enough. She always was. When it comes to personality, I don't know who I took after, my mom or my dad. And they don't know who I took after as much as I think I was left alone with my thoughts for way too long. I hope that I have the love of my mom, but I don't understand human emotion as well as her. I don't, I understand mine. I have a hard time with other people's, and I think that's why for me it's easier to explain emotion by putting it into a story that I can control and show to other people so that they feel the way I feel, because I can't ever tell by talking to them.
the way my brain works is to just randomly grab information I've learned in my life and apply it to whatever problems in front of me. And a lot of people just can't do that. What drives you as a creative? Depression. Depression is a beautiful thing. And I think that's why I got so depressed, was I, I chased it. I try to amplify it. Depression is the word for being in sadness, like stuck in quicksand. When I feel helpless, when I feel sad, and when I just, when I feel my emotions, mm -hmm. is when I connect with other people who feel that. Because when I'm happy, my brain's just kicking out ideas. And now, a lot of the things that make me sad give me fuel. Because with anything in life, I want to get to the bottom of it. The easiest way for me to explain to you the way my brain works is I'm a scientist for my own thoughts. I think something, and then I become aware of the thought, and then I start analyzing why did I have that thought, what does it mean, and how can I apply it to my other thoughts. When I get depressed, I feel like I have to get it out or it'll kill me. And I think that's an urgency that's always given me fuel. I'll never forget in high school though, I had one English teacher and then one day in class someone said, why are you being so hard on me when Sawyer's not even paying attention? And he looked at the class and he said, honestly, no matter what Sawyer does, he's going to be successful because he has a different way of approaching a problem. It was the first time someone had made me aware that I problem solve when other people panic. People always ask me, if you lost all your subscribers tomorrow, what would you do? I figured out how to, how, to get, how to get them back. What would you do? You know, roll over and die? Absolutely not. <laughs> I think the first time in my career that I really went like, oh wow, was when I got my first check for $10,000 because I had never made that my whole life. I did uh, three brand deals and I had happened to do one month that had good ads and all together came in a check for $12,624. I will never forget it. And I stared at it going, holy crap. When you grow up and you see the people around you making a certain amount of money, that is, you have an idea of what it looks like to make it. You have an idea of what it looks like to just be getting by. And it was the first time I had ever realized you can make as much or as little as you want you just have to apply yourself and actually ask yourself, how do I give enough value to do it? And that was it. I took off because I stopped focusing on my problems and I started focusing on solving other people's problems and people pay a lot more money for that. I do not get inspired by social media. That's something people are constantly shocked at. They're like, do you watch YouTube and just go, wow, I can do better or look at Instagram and say, oh, I can capture a better photo? No, because my inspiration has nothing to do with me. I don't look at something and go, I can do better than that. I feel inspired. I watch something and go, how the f did they ever pull this off? I grew up next to a blockbuster. I watch like three, four movies a day. Even now, I still, I watch a season of TV a day or maybe two movies. And it's the movies that inspire you that inspire me. It makes me sad to see creators who are literally doing it for a reason, for a, uh, to get followers. A lot of people just want to live that travel lifestyle, so they choose a camera as the way to justify it. Not all of them are in it for the right reasons, and their work sometimes shows it. It just makes me sad that some people desire to be creators, and I think they have a completely false sense of how you get there. You've got to find what speaks to you. You've got to find what makes you special and then run with it so that people are constantly chasing you. You've got to stop chasing the people you look up to. People have to take more risks. You have to give yourself permission to fail. I don't care if you have to tattoo it on your arm like I'm going to. Permission to fail. Everyone has to have it or just don't bother being a creative. Honestly, if I could go back and tell myself anything at any age, it would just be to go back and say, don't worry about it. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine.